The biggest need once a refugee comes is the need to access water. Yeah, by the time we arrived here, there was a water problem. Our women was suffering a lot. We could come and sleep even uh, at the long queue. Initially, uh, because of the chronic emergency, we were even at three liters per person per day. We used to rely strictly on water tracking. Sometimes the, the trucks don't arrive. Sometimes there's too heavy rains and you cannot deliver the water. The biggest challenge was the long queues, especially uh, the women and girls when they are coming to fetch water. You would uh, on a daily basis find 100 jerry cans in the chew. Sometimes many of them would not get water. There were rampant cases of diarrhea for the children that time. With the funds of the consortium supported by the European Union, we have been serving the refugees and the host community. Under water service delivery, we do optimize boreholes. We have installed three of these systems. Each system has a standard solar area, so it's powering a submersible pump to an elevated tank. And from the reservoir tanks, that water is channeled through gravity, through piped water system. That's why we are able to see people can now access this water at the tap. When the water was supplied in the area, they made a lot of water points in the settlement. In this response, we need to minimize on cost. So to be able to come up with a design that uses solar energy to be able to, to meet the needs of the population as something we have been uh, specifically proud about in the project. Currently, per day, uh, using uh, solar energy, we are able to produce about 860,000 liters of water. If you equate this to population, we are talking close to 54,000 people receiving clean and treated water. Just with the funds which we have been able to receive as a consortium, we have reduced over $6,000 per day. So in terms of the cost saved, it's uh, of high impact because right now if you go to the water points, the women can spend uh, even 10 minutes to get clean water. This was unheard of. There's no common diarrhea in the area. Even this uh, typhoid, it has reduced. It is not so common these days. It has been supplied in many areas. They are now close to each other and people are able to get it now from the nearest place. Is not only have they been able to get clean water, but also to make a little bit more time for household chores, also taking care of your family because they have to rebuild their hope and rebuild homes in, in a new country.